Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, Rookie. Rookie. You're wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. How much longer? And just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well... We have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt? Open a call with dispatch That's for him. White Horse to dispatch, over. Right We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. Did the go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. Alright. Lucky I'm not there. If you get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. 10-4, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the teeth. You know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Be 
in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much out here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. <laughs> to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, Just come on. Hold on, Marshal. We will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff. There you will be no more address. suffering. No, oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Do not touch that service weapon! Hold on and y'all stand down! Stand down! Put your guns down! Everyone calm down! We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. seal and I heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts say come and see step forward and I saw and behold it was a white horse and hell followed with him rookie cuff this son of a bitch God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Marshal, take point. We're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Keep back! 
Rookie, keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. God has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. Harbingers of doom no. will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the rebound! We gotta get out of here. Let's get the fuck off me!
found Matthew. It's bad. They ambushed him. He's dead. We... Christ, Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on, check the room, Rook. Oh, 
Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, we've gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay. Use it! 
that ship means it means the roads have all been closed it means the phone lines have been cut it means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley but mostly it means we're all fucked goddamn collapse they all think the world's coming to an end now They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Eli, you there? Are you ready to work? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather, 
is that your partners are alive for now. Seems they've been split up, each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want him back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. I knew bad shit was coming down the pike, but I never imagined it going down like this. I grew up with the fear of nukes raining down on us. And if it wasn't going to be that, a fear... Tsunamis would wipe out the coast. Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Third, you can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. I've got cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. And help any folks in need, would you? Dutch out.
Another chance to pitch in. These folks should have been more generous. Thanks for saving my sorry ass. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. <clears throat> I can't thank you enough. Hey, Henry, I I'm at the edge of the wood near where you spotted the fire sign. I don't know what that showboater was doing buzzing the treetops, but the sky is now clear air traffic. That smoke plume is pretty thick, but I need a closer look. What I can't figure out is what all these Peggies are doing out here. There's a whole bunch of them in the woods calling out like they're looking for someone. I, I don't know if they're involved, but they seem pretty crusty and... Holy hell! A pickup just drove by like nobody's business, and the Peggy's in the back row carrying rifles and shotguns. I'm gonna... Holy shit!
should have heated our mess and had a chance. Hold that blast! It's burning! Go find out what happened! They're outside now! God forgot about you long ago. Just come out and die! I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. I can't thank you enough. Hey, Lance. I'm not sure what to advise. The seeds don't have any claim to the property. The station is built on federal land after all. There's that noise again. I got faith in you, Deputy. Hey, Deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the two of you should head to the Forest Research Station. Ghosts been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore.
better angle. I'm behind you. Keep moving. Hey, Becky's over there. Let's keep low. Why not? Shit, kid. I'm impressed. There's more fighting you than I thought. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. Finders keepers. You think you can take care of that for me? Watch out! Going out with dignity. Gotta take what the dead don't need. I know how this is gonna end. Please help me. Lady, you're an angel. Thank you. <clears throat> Maybe we brought this Seriously, up. thank you. over there.
That'll help us. thinking and no I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me so don't worry also try not to fall from up there Centers. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word.
you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins, and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Fuck. John Seed's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going. Now that you've got your wheels, follow the gravel road off island until you hit the Devil's Fork and see which way the wind takes you. Best of luck, Deputy. I'll call when I've got some new info. Touch out. 